Step beyond the ordinary with Above the Surface, a captivating collection of science fiction-inspired drawings by model rocketeer Keith of Model Rockets 3 to 1. This zine features striking illustrations that push the limits of imagination and creativity, paired with motivational quotes to inspire and fuel your drive. Whether you're chasing dreams or need some positive words, Above the Surface is here to elevate your journey. Get your copy today while supplies last. All right, guys, Model Rockets 321 here. Today we are flying the Rotor Dactyl. This is my new upscaled, upscaled Rotor Rock, way bigger than the Rotor Raptor. Flies on 29 millimeter motors. I have a F52-5 in there. It's a white lightning. No, it's not a white lightning. It's one of the aero, one of the uh, Q-Jet, not Q-Jet, what do they call it? Interjet motors. It's kind of like an old school propellant. So we are gonna be flying this guy today. It is four feet, 11 inches tall. Let's get this thing going. Cross the fingers. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. We got the rotor dactyl, prehistoric winged creature. Going in T minus five, four, three, two, one. There he is whistling. Do we have, do we have a pop? No blades yet. No blades. Coming in hot. Disaster. And he hit. No blades. The rotor. Rotor dactyl. Failed. No blades. I know I had to. Everything was tied on. Let's go check it out. See what we got. Oh, it took off nice though. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have some. Uh, it nose dive. So that's going to be a crush. We will have to try again. Cold, brisk day out here. Let's go see what we got. All right, here we go. Coming up on the rotor. Super, super crash. Okay, so we had, oh yeah, nose cone hitting to the, yeah. This is a super, this is a crush. Crash, a couple, well, fins seem fine, but broken. Um, let me see, I heard it fire. Rubber bands are here, yeah. That was a hard hit. Let me see, and um, did everything fire? I guess the thread's going, so it did fire. I guess the blades, that five second delay, just couldn't get them, couldn't get the blades out. So that's that, guys. Well, we'll go back to the drawing board and see if we can still get an upscaled Rotor Raptor happening. That's the uh, first flight of the day. So let's go in and get some more flights off. It's a uh, total experimental, and uh, we got a crash. So this is the hobby, you try. You win some, you lose some, you crash some, you burn some. All right, get right back to you. All right, guys, so we're back over here. So the rotor dactyl was a failure. I could see it did fire to release the thread. I think it was just pointing down and it didn't swing those blades out. Didn't swing them out. Um, did everything in rock sim and it was good. But I think that just that speed Similar to when I first started a Rotor Raptor. But anyway, we're going to um, start from scratch. I'll take a look at things, see if we want to rebuild or not. And uh, we're going to go from there. It's my Rocks 321. You win some, you lose some. Let's do it. All right, so next up we have the R2Q5. This is based on the R2D2. This is my uh, kind of R2D2 kit. I just painted him this color and did detailing like the Imperial Droid. We're going to be sending this guy off on a D12-5. And we got a little, a small breeze blowing, shouldn't be too bad. Let's get this guy up there. Let's do it. My Rocks 321. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check the links below. SD discount code, I underscore 321, and all that good stuff. Check the other links, check my site, and we will see you in the sky. All right, here we go. Got the R2 Q5, the Imperial Droid, going on a D12 5. And we are going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, no go. Stop right there. All right, so here we go. We just had a misfire of the R2Q5. We're going to be retrying that guy again right now. Going on a D12-5. Switch the igniter out. And we are going in 5, 4, 
three, two, one. There he is, parachute, coming down. Whoa, we got, whoa, what's going on with that guy? That was crazy. Coming down right back at the pad, swinging around, and touching down. Wow, I had a little flame out going on. But he is all good, he's back on the ground. His fins, still good, still good. The R2 Q5, nice, nice flight into the breeze, little breeze now. Yeah, that was one of the older, um, old D125 I had sitting around, so good deal. Good deal, he's back pretty much right at the pad. The pad's there, that's less than 10 feet, so I will take it. Model Rocks 321, subscribe, let's do another one. All right, guys, the Astron Omega is back for another flight, this time in a single stage configuration, flying it on an E20-7. It should be a really high and spectacular flight, running altimeter in the payload section, and we also have onboard video, so check that out. We are coming right up. The Astron Omega returns. Astron Omega is going. We are going. On the E20-7, altimeter running, onboard video running, going in five, four, three, two, one. Way up. Seven second delay. Still see the rocket and parachute. There it is. Rare pa red parachute is out. Way up there. Should be coming back drifting down over range. Actually, I think it's going to come back our way. Let me see if I can find him in there. Yeah, I see him right there. There he is. There he is. It may get a little blurry for you. But yeah, he's up there pretty high. Don't take your eye off that guy. Yeah, he's up there. Yep, he's up there pretty good, so. Oh yeah, he's far, far away. Yeah, he's coming down, he's coming down. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have a long walk. I thought the breeze would bring him back my way, but he is putting him down far. I just gotta keep my bearings on him. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing him or not, but he's coming down right between that split and that mountain over there. And he just touched down. So if I just stay walking straight, <laughs> if I just stay walking straight, and not lose my marbles and have to turn too much, I'll find them. So here we go. Off to the trek and we go. Be right back and let you know the situation. Well guys, not as bad as I thought. It was a walk, but it's not ridiculous. He's right here, not too far. I thought he was a little further, but I am approaching him right now. That was a flight, man. He went up there good, so. We have altimeter. Oh, camera's missing. Ah, the camera's gone. This is the second one I lost, man. The camera's long gone. I'm never going to find that. So here he is all laid out, but the camera came off. The rubber band camera was sitting there. He is gone. Oh, goodness. Well, rocketry can be fun. Mod Rocks 321 here. Astron Omega returned all intact. E20-7. I guess you better tie and actually I see the little payload section try to come loose also but the camera onboard footage is gone that ejection happened probably won't be found I'm parked way back over there that camera won't be found I could take a look around but that thing's gone wow he went over this way so it's gone that other camera I mean I could take a look but he's gone. Well, that's a wrap for the day, guys. Model Rocks 321. Hope you enjoyed this video. Kind of a uh, tragedy-filled day. The rotor dactyl prehistoric wing creature crashed on me. Lost the camera. Would have been some nice footage, but I think on ejection or that thrust probably kicked it off. I'm gonna take a look for it. Um, I know the general area, possibly anywhere out here, really. Who knows where it fell off? If it came out on thrust. 
back near the pad would have been nice. But, wow, he's gone. So I gotta get a new camera now. <laughs> it's always something to get. Stay tuned for the debriefing. We'll look all this stuff over, guys. Thanks for checking it out. Smile Rocks 3, 2, 1. We're out. Stay tuned for the debrief. Subscribe to the channel. All right. So the Astron Omega data. So let's take a look at that. Coast phase was 5.9 seconds. That was a seven second delay. And when that ejection happened, I believe that's what kicked the camera off. So we got a lost camera on that. Um, it was 1,086 feet as a single stage on an E27 Aerotech motor. So descent rate was 11, 11 miles per hour. I don't have a big parachute on there, but that one's pretty, pretty sturdy, pretty tough. So yeah, um, pretty, pretty nice flight on that one. Pretty nice flight, but I lost that camera. I'm going to be getting another one though. It's model rockets. Let's do it. All right. So it is debriefing time. You just witnessed three flights. You witnessed the extra upscaled rotor dactyl. The new build standing at like close to five feet. It's like maybe four, 11, four feet, 11 inches tall. Um, you witnessed that fly. You witnessed the Astron Omega and you saw the R2Q5. So the day was not uneventful. It was a strange day. It was a weird day. It did not go off without a hitch. We suffered some damage. We lost the camera. And now I found a new piece of damage that I'm going to show you coming up here soon. So start out the rotor deck was an upscale rotor rock. Um, I had an idea after I did the rotor raptor, which is already upscale, that I wanted to go bigger. So here are the fins. That was the paint job I did on the fins. Um, here are the blades. Um, yeah, everything was built bulletproof. It had double hinge. Everything was strong, but all this damage you see here happened on the crash. The flight was great. Boost was straight. The motor I used was an F52. Let me pull that out of here. Um, 29 millimeter. It was a nice launch. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better day. Yeah, F, uh, F52C, the classic propellant. Zero smoke. Zero flame. It's a nice motor. I do like a little smoke, but it had none of that. And I thought that five second delay would give it enough time to still coast up and then slow down and get blades. But it just still was under too much thrust when it fired. Now I can see the hole here. There was ejection. The thread's gone, so it did burn the thread in it, but the blades just didn't swing out. Um, it was going too fast. The rubber bands were stretched really tight, so they should have given them enough to whip around this is the and it um they didn't and it turned around and it turned over came in ballistic and it hit the ground um so there we have that um nose is crushed down in there bodies crumpled i do like the design of this rocket and now it's just up to i'm not even sure if i'm motivated to rebuild this or not um I'm not sure as of right now. As of right now, I'm just sitting undecided on whether I'm going to, uh, you know, attempt to rebuild and do this again. It was fun though. I may just make a rotor dactyl and then do something with the cone as a helicopter or something like that. Or just, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Let me get this out of here so we can see this. This is the cone crushed in there, man. Yeah, this is some destruction. Um, yeah, it would have been would have been nice if it worked, but this is rocketry, man. You gotta try some things out. Rock Sim, everything was good. You know, the as far as the boost and everything, it was just I think it's still just the rubber bands did everything fired. It just didn't swing them out. They were on these hooks. This is all built up, nice, reinforced. Just didn't get enough to swing them out. I guess it was the speed it was traveling up when the blades when it fired. I believe it was pointing down a little, and just didn't get these blades around. Um, yeah, would have been sweet. Would have been sweet, but that was that was um. So this lower half, I'm already looking at. I'm liking from. See, I got a crimple here, so I'm guess I'm, I'm probably cutting here. There's a uh, coupler in here, so I'm probably going keeping everything from here down. All this is done. Crumpled. Yeah, blade. I mean, cone. Of course, that's that can get trashed right now. I'm done. But the blades are good. All lower half. I mean, I can keep. A lot. Just turn it into something else. It will be something else. It'll be a shorter little dactyl or something. We'll see. We'll see what I'm going to do with it. But yeah, I have my paint job done. But no success of the rotor dactyl. We had a crash. This is rocketry. We love this uh, sport. Sometimes you can build um, scratch stuff and do your thing. I have a lot of scratch builds that are good. Some work, some don't. And, you know, that's part of the game. That is this hobby. 
and we will continue. There will be more coming. There will be more coming. So as we move right along, and we have the next two rockets we flew, R2Q5 on the D125. It gave a weird burst. I had my um, had my uh wadding in there and it had caught fire and it bursted it out but everything worked out it's kind of a low flight not really high up like I expected the D12-3 put it up there higher D12-5 not as high but it came down landed I thought everything was good but then I noticed this look at this busted the leg right there easily repaired though you can glue that back up yeah that can be glued but he is pretty much heading to retirement because these um these survived these the, um these flight fins they survived these are super rare probably need to be getting these three D printed here soon but make them in, I guess make them black that would be pretty nice but yeah this guy's probably heading into retirement maybe we'll see we'll see but normally a great flying rocket I mean it's not not a bad not a bad flyer normally but yeah down there just got that crack right there so that was that guy on a D125 um, fun rocket 1978 it is really the R2D2 um, of course you probably know that by now so that was a, a good deal last but certainly not least yeah that wants to come off so I'm about to get that fixed this one to come off I'm going to take these off I'm going to get the flight fins off yeah so yeah I'm about to get this guy fixed up ASAP and last but not least Astron Omega in its single stage formation or configuration flew on an E20-7 seven second delay look at this fans getting all chewed up seven second delay onboard video was running which the camera got lost you know by now just thinking with the thrust and this rubber band not holding it down and a seven second delay pointing down probably ejection came out probably took that right with it that jolt that force even when it hit the shock, once it caught under the parachute, just caused it to go on and get out of there and lost. I did do a search. I did a search. Um, I have the general area. I walked around, walked around, um, did not find it. So that is, um, that's it, man. That is it. That was a, that was a rough one. It went through like 1,000, um, I got the altimeter. It was like 1,000, what, 1,083 feet, something like that. So it gave a good, good high flight. Gave a good high flight, so that was um that was that was the day, guys. That was the day. A little rougher than usual, you know. You can't get all perfect flights all the time, and this was definitely one of those days. But we love this hobby, and it's fun to do. So we welcome you guys to uh, hit the like button, share the video around, copy and share it, drop a comment, check the links below, and we will check you on another video. Smile Rockets, three, two, one, and we out.